so yes, it is muggy, it is humid, and we aren't the only ones who need to cool off. Our little dogs like to get in on the action too. I'm here with Dr. Nikki Eaton from Flair's Animal Hospital. How are you? I am so good, and I love this subject because we are talking about dogs and swimming. And I think there's a huge myth out there. It's a misconception. We think because you know doggy paddle, we talk about doggy paddle, that all dogs know how to swim, and that's not necessarily true. No, it's not. You actually have to teach the dog how to swim. So it's extremely important, especially when they're puppies, to start teaching them to get used to the water. You know my lab, Sydney, lab mix that comes uh -huh. in. She does not like to swim even though she has lab in her, but she doesn't like to swim. It's because she was never taught as a puppy how to swim. Which is why we have this puppy here with us, yes. who actually needs to be adopted too. Such a sweetheart. Her yes. name is Flower. Flower. Yes. And we are trying to teach Flower how to swim. Exactly. So how would you do it if you have a new dog and you want to get the dog used to the water? So this is great. We have a little baby pool here so that they get used to the water. Don't just put them in a big pool or the river or anything like that to begin with. Because okay? that can be very dangerous. Yes, and it can be very traumatic to okay. the dog too. So we don't want that to happen. As you can see, we also have a nice little doggy life jacket yes. on her too. So this is extremely important too so that she gets used to having that on her. So when we get into deeper water, this will help her float, but she's also used to having it on so it's not a big deal. Well, I see that it has this like handle yes. thing, which is, I think is like that's super helpful. Yes, so she goes in the water, deeper water than this, uh -huh. and she feels uncomfortable, you can pull her right out of there, no problem. Okay, so my question too is, uh, why is this important? So many people think, okay, so if the dog can't swim, why is it important that it actually, that, that you teach the dog to because swim? Because so many people have pets as part of their family, and a lot of people go boating, swimming. I mean, we're right up in Polaris. Yeah. You know, people are up there all the time with the dogs. And so what I don't want to see happen is that they say, oh, okay, let's go boating, let's take the dog. But the dog has no idea how to swim, right. and then something happens when the dog falls off the boat. Now, Nikki, are there certain breeds that are um, more apt to being good swimmers than others? Yes, I mean, there are, you know, Goldens technically like water, but I've seen some Goldens that don't. Labs, I mean, mine is an example. Right. Um, Chesapeake Bay Retrievers, you know, those types of retrievers, that's what they were bred for. What about the little dogs, like my Chihuahuas? You know what, you can teach them to do that. I had a poodle, uh -huh. Wilson, for 17 years. He loved to swim because I taught him as a puppy to get in the water with me and swim. So it's all about teaching them to do that when they're at a young age. Sounds good. Okay, so really quickly, if you would like to adopt Flower, how do, how do people get in touch with you? Just call us at 614-888. 4050 and ask for Rachel. Ah, uh, she is so sweet. All right, Dr. Nikki Eaton from Animal Hospital. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, can Dino swim, Pete? He can. He loves the swim, and uh -huh. I think maybe, uh, you know, that'd be a good companion for him to go yeah, swim. Hey, hey, Amy, if you're watching, <laughs> he's available. She's available.